It is said that behind every champion is a team that prepared them to become one. This team we talk about consists of only those who allow us to dream, shine and falter. In the company of these select few, we can freely express ourselves in the privacy of a safe space and share our pride and disappointments just with them and nobody else. The way I see it, that team is your inner circle. I'm Abhish Matthew and welcome to WhatsApp Presents The Inner Circle where you will join me on a journey where I meet some of our greatest sports champions and those who help them become one. Today I'm going to talk to a world-renowned Paralympian who fought every challenge like she would fight in a battle and come out victorious each time. She did this with her undying spirit and resilience and the strong support of a feisty inner circle. With great pleasure, I introduce you to a Paralympic medal winner, a swimmer, rally driver, motivational speaker and President Paralympic Committee, Deepa Malik, Padma Shri Khel Ratna awardee. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so excited Thank to speak you. to you. Thank you. You know, on our show, we've had a number of champions who've come up. And one thing that's very different in your journey is that their sports journey started at a much younger age. But for you, it started at 36. 36, I started my sports journey as a swimmer, mm. but I could not do much as a swimmer. So instead of giving up sports, yeah. I shifted gears to athletics at the age of 40. It was more a journey which was looking for an identity. I always say I'm more of a sports activist because I chose that medium to tell people that it's all right to be on a wheelchair. I am fit, I'm happy, I'm active and... Um, I am blessed to be alive. So, from being fit, sporty and a biker, you went through the spinal surgery. What was the initial shock like? It was like prayer answered. Okay. But there's a paradox out there. I suffered the tumours and paralysis as a child. Uh -huh. Then rehabilitation, learning to walk again and then forgetting about it because as I grew up, I was a very sporty and a very... Uh, outdoorsy kind of a person, suitably married <laughs> yeah. uh, because he was a biker, gave me a bike, life was a fairy tale till my elder daughter met with an accident and she had a severe head injury leading to hemiplegia, that's paralysis on the left side of her body. I truly believe in the power of manifestation because and I always say please be very very sure of what you're praying. I kept saying you know like how a regular cliche mom says yeah. You know, my child is okay and give me something. Literally. Yeah. And Devika started showing a bit of improvement. But then I, this tumour came. And as I spoke to the doctors and they said that the only chance to life was actually to uh, get operated. And if I'm alive, I'll be with chest pillow paralysis for the rest of my life. So it was told to me when my husband was at the war and there were bleak chances, the way we were hearing about Kargil. Yeah. I just wanted to be alive. You've often said that uh, apne bachcho ko palti hai, but in your case, the roles have been reversed. My daughters have been amazing strength because they have moved in with me, especially Devika. Yeah. She had to even give up her set of friends in Pune. From her inner circle, she moved as my inner circle. Normally, a mother bathes the daughters, put them in a diaper. In my case, my daughters gave me a bath. They put me in a diaper. Yeah. They packed my gym bag. Yeah. They put me in my stroller, my chair, and they took me to gym and to stadiums to play. Were there any comments from outside, any remarks that oh, did loads, hit? Oh, loads. Loads. I mean, you win a beauty contest. Yeah. You are being applauded for a beautiful body. Mm. And then you are being judged for a body which is chest below paralyzed mm. with no bladder and bowel control. Mm. And people are saying, oh my God, a general son, a cavalier, young colonel. Oh, his life has gone to dogs. I said, yeah, talk about me, for heaven's sake. <laughs> then I took on to this journey of ability beyond disability. They said, I can't cook. I opened a restaurant. They said, I'm going to be limited to a room. I have traveled half the world. 
<laughs> they say I was a paralyzed patient. Mm. I was Fit India's uh, brand ambassador. This is the coolest thing that could have happened to me. So when you're traveling, going on tours for championships, competitions, or even for your rally driving, how do you stay in touch with like your inner circle? Well, yeah. it's all at the tip of the fingers. Tick, tick, tick. Make a WhatsApp call, and then everything is there, right there. And I love uh, human interface, and you know, it gives me a chance to see my children. Yeah. Especially Devika, she is like. my uh, mentor my content writer my manager my uh, everything you know what we have spoken about devika so much uh, so joining us today is your daughter a champion and an international para athlete and co-founder of wheeling happiness foundation and a forbes 30 under 30 member please give it up for devika malik hello hi, hi. how are you i'm good hello Welcome to the inner circle. Thank you so much for coming. We've been chatting with your mom. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you think from cool mom to coolest mom is she at? Is there a scale where I can say one <laughs> hundred? She truly now your best friend at a certain point. I would say. I think we've become partners as I have gotten older mm. because um, we work together. There's mm. so much uh, of. Uh, a uh, community service that we do together i truly feel like more than friends even we are partners in every sense of the word we are probably the only mother daughter in the world yeah. who have competed together in para sports events at in, at the national sports. level like yeah all i wanted was that when my children grow up mm. uh they should not remember their mother as a sad person yeah. i'm glad i was able to do that because they've grown up into very responsible citizens right so that is one thing i'm really proud of how do you make the events in the family more special because again like you said you celebrate life so much i just love talking and i love human expressions and i love laughing a lot so i have to have a person visible to me and i think uh, anything done and there is a whatsapp call right there and we are all connected and we are just sharing the moment this sharing the moment is very important one of the recent celebrations we had is something we call a phoenix birthday for mom every year we celebrate the day that uh, she got operated because instead of looking at it i think as a day that she got paralyzed we look at it as a day where she got a second chance at life so mom gets two birthdays every year now i'll be playing a quiz with you called have you ever i've got to give you both these banners uh, this has the word have and also has the have not so i'll pass to you Huh? This is for you. Let's start. Have you ever stolen each other's sweet and eaten without asking? Have. Okay, great. Have you ever lied about something big? Okay, like mother, like daughter. Have you broken something and pretended someone else did it? No. All right, we have our first class. Of course. When did of that happen? So I'll have to WhatsApp it to you separately because it's not even about public. It's about Okay. We don't oh. want to open a Pandora's oh. box. Oh, please, 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 not here. Here we go to the next question. Have you ever said something to someone that you regret? Mm hmm. Have not. Have you cheated on your diet? Have. Okay, good, good. Oof. Have you ever thought of quitting sports? Have not. Have. Interesting. Have you ever held a grudge for a very long time? Have. 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 have you ever been caught for doing something wrong? I don't know what wrong did I do. Have <laughs> you've done nothing? I, I, I don't know. That's, this, you, can keep, you know what? You can keep doing left, right, left, right. That's fine. Right. Thank you so much, both of you, for this uh, interesting insight into the life of a mother-daughter. But before that, I would like to take a last scene selfie with you, so that I have something to make my mother jealous of. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Your story is definitely inspirational. Like your life attitude is unbelievable, and I think that genetically has passed on. Deepa Malik's story is genuinely inspirational and reminds us of just how important it is to have an inner circle. An inner circle that gives us love, encouragement, ability to nurture our hopes and dreams in the privacy of a safe space. So keep your loved ones close and cherish the bonds you share. See you next time with another champion and they're in a circle. Adios.